Hi, I'm Peter Parker. Spider-Man has his Spidey sense, and Tom Holland has his improv sense. You might think that there wouldn't be much room for improv on the giant blockbuster movies Tom has worked on, such as Avengers Infinity War and Uncharted. But you would be wrong. These are the scenes and moments where Tom Holland took matters into his own hands and showcased his impeccable improv skills. We improvised a version of the scene which wasn't great, but it sparked an idea. Number one. The relationship between Tony Stark and Peter Parker is one of the most endearing in all of the MCU. Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland have such a great chemistry on set that makes their scenes together almost effortless, as they flow so naturally. A great example of this is at the beginning of Spider-Man Homecoming, when Tony and Peter are in the car together. Tony leans over Peter to open the door for him, which Peter takes as an awkward attempt at a hug. The embrace was improvised by Holland, and the ever-professional Professional Downey went right along with it. I just thought it would be funny if I hugged him. This unscripted moment led to one of the most satisfying payoffs in Avengers Endgame, when Peter finally got that hug from Tony. Oh, this is nice. Number two. Tom Holland's Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg's Victor Sullivan worked extremely well together in the live-action movie adaptation of the Uncharted video game. Director Ruben Flusher gave the two actors a lot of room to go off script and just use their natural banter to create the relationship of the characters. I have lots of fond memories of improvising with Mark. It develops into this real bond and this true reliance on each other. While Tom Holland stated it was a ton of fun, he hasn't shied away about admitting how daunting it was to put himself in such a vulnerable position. Anytime you improvise and it's not funny, it's horrible. Number 3. Everyone remembers the emotions they felt when they first watched Avengers Infinity War and experienced the heartbreaking scene of Peter dusting away in Tony's arms. It was such a powerful scene, driven by the incredible performance of Tom Holland. This moment was largely improvised by Holland, who said that Joe Russo simply told him to act like he didn't want to go away. And that spawned Holland's tear-jerking, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, sir, please. The reason Tom repeats the line over and over is because it's one of his processes as an actor. When he needs to cry, he picks a line and constantly repeats it until the tears start flowing. It seems to be getting easier and I, I cry like watching films now all the time. Number four. Seeing the three Spider-Men all together on the same screen for the first time was an incredible moment. The rooftop scene was a perfect blend of the old and the new coming together. What makes it even better is the fact that a majority of the scenes between Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield were improvised. And there was so much fun improv with those guys. It was the most incredible experience of my career. Number 5. Tom Holland flexed his dramatic acting muscles in 2021's Cherry, a film directed by the Russo brothers, who also directed Tom in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. There wasn't as much room for improvisation in this film, but there was one scene in particular when Holland and co-star Sierra Bravo were able to go off script. The moment saw the two lie down together and fall asleep well after the original scene was supposed to end. The Russos are very good at creating a very fun atmosphere on set, so, you know, we were always able to kind of step away from the emotion. Number six. The three web slingers were like old friends on set, despite never meeting each other previously. Their genuine love and respect for one another inspired the beautiful moment at the end of No Way Home, when the three Spider-Men say goodbye with a hug. And the end of the film is us having this moment where I'm like, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And then we have this beautiful hug. In between takes of the rooftop scene on top of the school, Tom went up to Andrew and Toby and thanked them for their involvement in the film. At the end of their discussion, they hugged each other. We all embraced and we all started crying. Which director John Watts and producer Amy Pascal saw. Yep, that's how we're gonna end the film. <laughs> that's brilliant, well done Tom. They immediately knew they needed to include the moment in the film and the rest is history. Number seven. Tony Stark's demise in Endgame was an extremely emotional scene. We won, Mr. Stark. And for obvious reasons, a big secret. 
there were only a handful of actors on set that day, including Tom Holland. He revealed that the scene when everyone is saying their goodbyes was almost 100% improvised. When we shot that scene with Robert, there was no real script. The actors were told what was happening in the scene and given a general idea of what the directors wanted. The rest was up to them. It was a really emotional day and, I mean, looking back on it now, it was maybe the craziest day I've ever had on set. Number 8. Spider-Man Far From Home features a very slapstick scene when the first elemental shows up. We see Peter repeatedly bong his head against a giant bell in a tower. It's a very comical scene, and it all comes from Tom and his brother Harry. Banging into the thing and then sliding and then banging into it again. Yeah. yeah that was, that was us. The brothers came up with the sequence, shot it on their phone, and then showed it to director John Watts, who liked it enough to include it in the film. I like that it like cuts out wide yeah. and you just hear the dung. <laughs> Number nine. All Peter Parker wants to do is help out his fellow Avengers. And all Tony Stark wants him to do is stay out of their troubles. That dynamic lent to a very simple yet funny exchange in Avengers Infinity War. When Doctor Strange and Tony are discussing their sticky situation, Peter chimes in with, I'm back up. No, you're still away. The adults are talking. Downey immediately responded with his own improvised line, once again showcasing the two actors' impeccable chemistry. Number 10. The MCU's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man was introduced in Captain America Civil War, where we first see him interacting with Tony Stark. This first interaction is largely improvised by the two actors. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? It's about time we met. You've been getting my emails, right? Yeah. Right? And it's probably because the two did such an amazing job during Tom's audition, when they played through a version of the scene we see in the film, and also improvised, even though Tom was warned not to. Number 11. The Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland moments just keep coming. In the same scene when Peter first meets Tony Stark, the two have a meeting in Peter's room. When Tony goes to sit down next to Peter, he asks him, I'm gonna sit here so you move the leg. Director Anthony Russo revealed that this part of the scene was improvised. Number 12. Tom and Zendaya work so well together and are the best Spider-Man MJ duo. Although, Zendaya thinks Tom can be a little much when it comes to all the improv he does with her. Still, their chemistry together made for great scenes, as their improv added an important layer to the character's dynamic. Maybe we should add <laughs> up. <laughs> Everyone goes on about how good at improvising they are. Ah, ah. Number 13. Did you know that in Far From Home, Peter and Mysterio's relationship was originally supposed to be much more contentious? They were going to butt heads and have a more antagonistic relationship, even before Mysterio was revealed as the villain. However, Tom and Jake Gyllenhaal got along too well off camera, bonding and forming a chemistry that ultimately affected their on-screen characters. John Watts rolled with the dynamic and allowed the two to playfully improvise in multiple scenes. Number 14. Marissa Tomei is yet another actor Tom Holland had improvised scenes with. One of these was the restaurant scene in Spider-Man Homecoming. Their conversation where Aunt May repeated the word LARB was totally improvised. And you can actually see Tom Holland start to crack a smile. Luckily, the camera cuts away before he completely breaks. Number 15. Ned Batalon and Tom Holland became instant best friends on the set of Spider-Man. For the first film Homecoming, the duo apparently weren't given their scripts days in advance. So when it came time to film, they didn't know all their lines, and just improvised instead. These improvised moments prove that he is a talent worthy of playing such high profile characters, like Spider-Man. Which unscripted moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for stopping by at The Things.